Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley and in today's video, I am going to be talking to you guys about how I personally deal with mom guilt. So I've suffered from mom guilt ever since I became a mom <laughs> and I noticed that I did have it with my oldest but once my second born was born, it kicked into gear like big time because now it's not only one kid that I'm feeling guilty about, it's two. So if you guys are new to my channel, I do have two boys. I have a five-year-old and a two-year-old Anthony is a five-year-old and Lucas is the two-year-old in case you guys are new and as I'm talking I'm gonna be saying names and I want you guys to know which one is which so Anthony is five and then Lucas is two and I wrote down four things that normally help me with mom guilt so after I do these things I don't feel as guilty as a mom if I make any sense so I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you guys what exactly they are so the first thing that I do when I'm really feeling guilty or what I do to kind of like prevent feeling mom guilt is an hour a day unplugged with my kids, them and I. So I make sure that my oldest doesn't have his iPad, he doesn't have his Nintendo Switch, there's no TV, there's nothing. It's just him and I, his brother and his father, and we're all unplugged together. I like doing that because I feel like we're really with each other. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we'll have a plugged in hour where I sit down with my oldest because he loves video games and we sit down and we play a video game together or if there's a video on YouTube that he really wants to show me or he's been dying to watch with me, I'll sit down and I'll watch it with him. But we normally do video games. So with video games, we love playing Yoshi Yarn. If you guys are familiar with the Wii, that's what we play. And I absolutely love that game and spending time with him. We have so much fun and we like building Yoshis. After each level, if you collect all of the little yarns, you build a Yoshi at the end and he loves doing that we used to do it every single day and that was always something that he looked forward to and we haven't done it in about like a week or a week and a half so I know that I gotta start playing that with him because I know that that used to be the highlight of his day knowing that before he was gonna go to bed we would make a Yoshi and then we would go to bed if that makes any sense so just take some time do something that your child likes that's unplugged where you guys know that you guys can spend some time together and communicate and just be present in the moment with your kids after I play a couple of video games with him and it's time for bed like he's happy and I'm happy because I actually got to spend some time with him but just try having an hour a day to do whatever your kid wants the second thing is doing all of my things before they wake up when they're napping or when they're asleep for the night so i like to wake up super early and get myself ready i always like to have everything that i personally need to do out of the way before they wake up in the morning so if you guys are new to my channel i do have a beauty channel this video that you guys are watching is on my vlog channel my beauty channel has makeup content all of that stuff and i wake up at five o'clock in the morning to film those videos and then I also wake up early to edit those videos or I edit during nap time. Like I always do things when they're asleep so that when they are awake, they have my full undivided attention. So that's something that I really like to do as well. It helps me with my mom guilt. I don't feel like I'm putting my kids to the side so I can edit a video. Or I'm not putting my kids to the side so I can film a YouTube video. Because for me, to film a YouTube video from start to finish, like getting myself ready from scratch, it takes three hours. So to have three hours a day when my kids awake and they're like pushed to the side that's not something that i do so i like to film my content when they're asleep or when they're not awake or whatever the case is so that's why a lot of the times on my beauty channel if i'm doing a makeup tutorial i end up doing a voiceover because i'm filming when they're asleep and i can't really talk if that makes sense so just do your things before your kids wake up if you want to wake up and exercise exercise before they're awake if you want to go for a jog if you want to go for a run if you just want to sit down and give yourself a manicure wake up a little bit earlier than usual and get all of that done so that when they're awake you're fine and you can spend your time with them and that really does help me with mom guilt the third thing is to take them to do activities on the weekends so i work monday through friday from 7 30 to 6 p.m and i like to do a lot of things with my kids on the weekends if you guys follow me on instagram we're either at the park we're either at the pool, we're either at a birthday party, we're either walking somewhere in the mall, whatever it is, we like to be out on the weekends. And I think that there are a lot of cheap, affordable things to do on the weekends. One of our favorite things to do is go to Bass Pro Shop. Now, I don't know if you guys have one where you're at, but we like going there. The kids love getting on the boats. They have a whole bunch of boats outside displayed. 
so we'll go up there they'll look at the boats inside they have like fake guns like rifles and stuff for the kids to play with they have four wheelers that my youngest lucas loves to get on and we like to just walk around you don't gotta buy anything just go out with your kids walk around show them things tell them what things are and you guys can do that every weekend just take some time out of your weekend and do something with them and show them something new or just spend time with them on the weekend and normally like yesterday in the morning me and my husband had a lot of errands to do in the morning but towards the end of the day it was all my kids so i went to my friend's house the kids played in the pool the kids played inside with the other with my friend's kids so they had time to do things that they like to do as well so i either have the whole day for my kids or i give myself half the day and then the rest of the day them like half and half but they always have a big chunk of the day on the weekend where we're doing something with them if that makes sense then the last thing is to alternate nights with spouse so my kids both want to sleep with me we don't all fit in my bed and i can't have them sleeping in my bed right now so um me and my husband alternate nights so one night i'll take the oldest one and he'll take the youngest one and then the next night we switch and i do that because i don't want my oldest to feel like i can never put him to bed um, or read a bedtime story to him or play a video game before we go to bed like I want him to feel like mom's still there and sometimes I feel really guilty to want to keep catering to my younger one because he needs to love as well you know what I'm saying my older one even though he's five like he still wants mommy to put him to bed and stuff like that so I know that um so I feel like I want to cry um that's that mom guilt <laughs> um I just I want him to feel like I am still there for him as well so I like to put him to bed at night and then switch and put my other one to bed at night as well hold on so alternating nights with your spouse is really good sometimes i put them both to bed because i just want to be with both of them sometimes but um i just really do think that alternating between the two does help me feel okay and not guilty as mom so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go those were four things that i do normally to help with mom guilt if you guys have any more advice or any things that you guys do to help with mom guilt leave them in the comments down below because obviously you guys see i still feel sometimes guilty and anything helps and i think that um other moms can read the comments as well and benefit from it so that basically completes today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already and i will see you guys in my next video